Hi guys, it's Sudhim again from redisco.com. In the previous video tutorial, we implemented our index method for displaying all books for our application. And uh, now in this video, we are going to implement this create method. So let's get start. When user is going to make get request to books create then we are going to show the nice looking form to create book for our user so in the create method we want to load form for user to create book to create a form we need form factory so let's create form factory first and then we will create form from that form factory is from play dot data let's call it form factory and we need to import this inject annotation import class and uh, import uh, this class from java x dot inject You don't have to uh, worry about uh, this inject and form factory for now. For now, you need to understand that uh, this is something that will help us to create form for book. So let's create form. As you already know that in play framework, everything is represented as object. For example, the views are represented as classes and uh, the actual HTML form is also represented as class and object. So the class that represents HTML form is form. And then we need to specify the object for the form. Book form is equal to and then we will use this form factory to create form for us form factory dot form then we need to pass the class of the model which is book dot class this form factory will create form that will help us to generate form for book now we need to pass this form to our view so that we can actually create html for it let's create create view in books folder create and as you know this view is going to take this form object and uh, this is the data type of this form object book form book now let me copy some html from our previous tutorial So let's change it to create book and uh, heading should be create book as well. Let's build some HTML for our form. Play framework also provide us uh, some helper classes that will generate some HTML for our form. So we are going to import those uh, helper classes. Helper dot and this will import all helpers that we are going to use to create form for book. Let's create a form with the help of helper dot form and uh, we need to specify the action of this form which is uh, routes dot books controller dot save this line will build html form that will look something like this form action is equal to the url of uh, save method which is book slash create and method would be post so this helper will create form like this now we need uh, some input fields and uh, submit button for our form 
let's create input uh, with the help of uh, helper again helper dot input text now we need to specify field for we want to create our input text that we can do with the help of our form let's create input field for id for id for title for price and last thing for author and finally we need submit button that we can create with the help of simple html create book let's go back to our controller now let's render this view create dot let's compile our application spt let's load this form so that we can actually see it's working okay we got some exception cannot instantiate model book it must have default constructor okay we need to create a default constructor for our book model public book okay now let's do it again so as you guys can see that it's working uh, we have our form let's see html that is generated with the help of uh, helper classes so this is the html that uh, play framework generate for us and as you guys can see that it is going to make a post request to this url and that's exactly what we are expecting in the routes file when user make a post request to book slash create then we are going to go to save method let's try it out and we should get to this uh, save method let's insert breakpoint here and uh, i'm going to stop my application to debug your application you already know that you need to type spt run dash jvm dash debug and the port on which you want to listen your debugger now let's debug our application edit configuration let's create our debugger for a play application remote play and port is click on apply and then click on ok now let's uh, debug our application our id is connected to our debugger let's refresh it nothing is going to happen let's write id of the book title of the book java the price and author let's click on create and as you guys can see that we just hit this save method and uh, and in the next video we will implement this save method and we will save our book so i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos i will catch you in the next one thank you so much for watching